All right, guys, this is going to be a quick video on how to use LSP Evo, Light Spectrum Pro Evo. It's an app on the App Store uh, for iOS and Android, and what it does is it uses the light meter in your phone to produce CCT values, some tint values, some uh, spectrums here. Uh, it, it's, it's only as good as your phone is and your methodology. So I've got a iPhone... 13 here so the camera in it is the well, best that Apple has to offer at the moment and it does a really consistent job I found especially when I kind of do the right methodology and what that is is instead of taking a flashlight and shining it you know at the the uh, the phone like this and by the way this is reading 6,000 CCT right now that is completely wrong. That is not even close. This light is SW45K, so this should be 4,500 Kelvin. So yeah, shining it at the at the phone like that is the wrong way to go. What I find is really good is to shine the light at an object, uh, like a paper, a piece of paper or something like that, but especially something that's calibrated. So I've got my, my passport here, um, which is calibrated it's a it's a light um, it's a color checker color chart for photography and when I flip it it's got some gray charts in here as well so what I like to do is I like to do this okay let's get this all set up okay and there we go like that Get this guy like this, and then I'll show you on camera what I've done here. So I'm a little off camera. Okay, here we go. So what I've got here, let me get on my screen. Let me come this way. Okay. So what I've got here is I got my phone aimed at my color chart. And, you know, I'm going to be showing this to you as a demo here, and I'm... I'm trying to do this as quickly and as efficiently as I can, but you know, obviously it's hard when you're manipulating the camera you're working with and all that. But I'm going to try and fill the screen with this 25% gray chart as much as I can, and then I'm going to shine the light at that. So let me go ahead and kill my video lights here so they're not causing any problems. Okay, so kill this video light as well. Okay, so now you're just seeing just the light of my phone, and I will shine my light at it. And yeah, we can see it. We can see that it's saying about 4,500. Let me make sure I get critical focus here. Hang on. It says about 4,400. Obviously, depending on how I move the light, it's going up and down. You know, there's tint shift to the beam. So, but I'm illuminating that chart. So again, you know, I got the flashlight in, in front here and I'm coming around the side, I'm illuminating the chart and the chart is being read by the program. Now, let me also tilt down a little bit with my camera or at least widen, because I want to show you this, this bottom part here. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Notice that this is a very rosy 4500, it's an SW 4500K, and you can see that the tint says 4500, and down here, you can see on um, the tint bar here how it is definitely into the pink side. And LSP Evo has a tint measurement up here, and negative 10 on the, uh, negative 10 right here is considered very rosy. So let's try a different light. This will be E21A. A mule at 3,500. Let me shine it on there. And you can see it says uh, almost 3,700. Let me give it a little more output. Now you can see it says about 3,600. So this is a E21A at 3,500. And you can see the CCT is pretty darn close. You can also see it's running a little rosy down here. That's uh, E21A is known for that. I go, I'm going to a higher ramp, and notice that the higher ramp I go, it's changing a little bit. That's pretty normal, right? So here you go. Now at top of ramp, it's about uh, 3480. 
and this is rated as a 3500 uh, flashlight, this one right here. So uh, there you go. Let's try another one. This one is uh, Nietzsche 219C, but it is a 3000. All right, here we go. There you go. 3000. Bang on. 3000. And if you look down here, it's rated pretty neutral, but a little bit towards the green. I had to add so much minus green to this thing. This thing right here was running so green. So uh, I added a bunch of minus green and then I got it to kind of neutral out. So um, there you go. Uh, let's just do a couple more. This is XPL High uh, 5000. Okay. And there we go. Let me, there we go. And once it settles, you can see it says 4700 right now, but I am also at uh, the kind of medium ramp. Let me go a little higher. There you go. Almost 5000. See right there, it says almost 5000. And also notice that it is quite green. It's uh, 12 points in the green. I find that XPLs are kind of green, uh, at least the 5000s are. Uh, let's try two more. This time, I'm going to do a E21A mix. This is 6500 and 2000s. So this mix is to be super rosy. So it, it, it's about 4000 when it's mixed, and you see that on there, 4000. But look at this. It's negative uh, 15 on the tint up here, and you can see how rosy it is. It's a very, very pink mix. I like it, but again, you can see how rosy it is. And here's another mix I've made. This is my EDC. This is uh, three different, here, let me see if I can focus on it. These are three different Nietzsche 219Bs. It's the SW45K on the top there, then a SW30 on the right, and at the bottom, an SW40. So a 4000K. I really like this mix. It, uh, Let's see here. Let's get focus on the camera. It comes out to about 3,500. There we go. There you go. About 3,500, and it's slightly rosy. So just a little rosy. I like it that way for EDC. Uh, sometimes I like it really rosy, but it's very unnatural. Let me go to one notch higher. You can see that this one, kind of the brighter it gets, it kind of um, cools off a little. And some emitters cool off as they get brighter. A lot actually do. Some don't, some go the other way, but uh, most actually get um, cooler as they get higher. So let me go to low here, and hang on, there we go. Uh, eh, it's all about 3,600, 3,500, so it's all right in there. This is a mix, so it's not 3,500 um, on the nose at all. But anyways, I hope that these tips helped you I just want to point out that you can get some really solid results using LSP Evo if you are both using a quality camera to begin with because it's only as good as the light meter in your phone and also if you are using a quality um, a chart or card to reflect off of. So, you know, again, the methodology here is to aim the light at the chart and then the phone reads the chart. And uh, I've gotten really, really good results with this. Uh, you could see on all these lights here how accurate it was. So I hope that helps. A good little $3 app. Also check out my other video that I'm making tonight as well about the Opel Pro Light Meter, which is another really good way to go.